Hey guys, Rick the Middle Class Millennial. Looks like we got a clogged drain here. And I think I know what the culprit is, but because uh, it seems like I gotta clean this crap out of the drain every three months. But anyway, I, of course, I might wanna ask my wife to help me clean some of this out here first. All right, once you got this cleared out and put some paper towels down, you're gonna go down underneath here and you're gonna unscrew this cap. Once you unscrew this, just pop this baby out like that. Once you get it loose, it should be able to just pop right out and oh boy. And see what I was talking about? It's this cream crap because there's like no hair on this virtually at all. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and rinse this baby out. Okay, well, I don't mean rinse it out. We're probably gonna use good old paper towels and wipe it down because I'm just gonna clog up another drain unless I go outside. But anyway, she's just gonna take it and grab this goop up. Ugh. Yeah, I'd probably recommend wearing gloves for this. All right, nice. Relatively clean, doesn't need to be perfect. And then you're gonna go ahead and insert this back in here. And I'm gonna tell you, I don't think this is gonna solve the problem. It's kind of hard to see on this camera, but we got gunk all in here. So I think we're gonna have to clean this whole thing out. But we'll go ahead and test it and see just by doing this if it made a bit of a difference. And of course, insert your stopper back in there and make sure it lines up and screw it on. Of course, let's see if she works. We'll open it up and close her. Ooh, hang on, there we go. Going down a little bit easier. Of course, always check underneath for leaks, make sure you don't have any leaks. But it's still clogging up. It's definitely improved, but it still needs some work. We're gonna have to clean out the uh, P-trap underneath. So we're gonna leave the top part intact. We're gonna go ahead and unscrew it from here. And potentially here if I can, if it's a little too tight, I'll just unscrew it here. I'd advise getting a trash can or a cup ready because you are gonna have water in here when we take this off that we're gonna need to carefully pull out and dump. All right, time to get this baby off. Top part undone here. Okay, that's as loose as it's gonna get. There we go. Ooh, look at that stuff hanging out on the top there. That looks yummy, doesn't it? Yeah, it's pretty black in there from the shaving cream. So we're gonna need to clean this out. And we're gonna rinse this baby outside here real quick. Huh? It might actually help if I have this water turned on in the basement. I have the winter shut off on. Oh, shit. Might have helped if I shut this off first before I turn the water on. Anyway, we're going to rinse her out. Looks pretty clean to me. I, I don't see a difference in scraping this out further. Okay, now that we're back in here, um, before we do clean this out, I think most of the plug this time around is actually coming up from up here. So, of course, we're going to get all this gunk out. Of course, make sure your gaskets line up. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a plastic gasket up in here. Make sure they line up in there. These are just hand tight. They're not, uh, they don't need to be on super tight because they're not, they're just sewer lines. They're not under pressure. All right, now they got the P-trap secured. For checking for leaks, uh, I would recommend filling up your sink all the way for the most part and then draining it because if you just leave it open and just run the spigot, there may not be enough water pressure to check for leaks entirely. So that what that means is you may not get a leak, but if you ever have a moment where you got to fill up the bowl of the sink and you drain it, it may cause a leak to happen. Just letting you know because there's a lot more pressure here. So I'm going to go ahead and push it in, see how it does. And it's draining pretty quickly. Now that we got it cleaned out. So far, no leaks, at least in the areas that I checked. It doesn't hurt to run your finger around them. Double check. I have, you know, yeah, we have a lot of stuff in here. And the last thing you want is sewer water to get on it. So just double. So anyway, quick pointers real quick. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is uh, make sure that when you pull your P-trap out, you tape it off. Because if not, your house is going to smell like sewer gases. Where, where I live, we don't have that odor really strong, but... Keep in mind, those sewer gases contain methane, which is very flammable in a lot of cases, so it is kind of dangerous to have those gases in your house. Uh, two, I also didn't expect the P-trap to be as clean as it was. Last time I cleaned it, it was pretty messy. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, real quick, too, I do got uh, three product reviews I have coming up here in the next month. Um, I'm currently on one product review. I'm waiting for my irrigation to get turned on, which isn't until the beginning of April. So I'll be having some product reviews coming out here real shortly, hopefully in the next couple weeks. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, take care and have a great day. Bye.